All right, good morning, people. I, well, you're not gonna hear really music because I'm gonna be doing reading for my classes. I'm gonna go over um, my PVP team here at the very onset so people can see what I've got build-wise going on. So I am going to be running. I'm just gonna sort my stuff a little easier for me to get to stuff. All right, so my lead mon is going to be hit points. And I need to go the other way to get to him. Can I not sort by? Okay, I am sorting the right way. So I need to get to dark, because my lead mon is gonna be a dark cupid. I.e. a shielder dark cupid, who has a 100% chance when falling in battle to restore 50% of the allies hit points. So if they kill him, he still heals them for 50% of their health. Um, he's got good hit points. He's on a hit point gem set. He's pushing 170,000 hit points before you take into account his leader bonus of another 32%. Um, decent attack. Attack stat is really for primary attack is based off his max hit points anyway, so scales with that. Um, defense, decent defense. He's got a massive chunk of recovery. Uh, it's not because there's a recovery gem on him. Uh, I'm just going to flip through the gems real quick just because I have a chunk of gems with recovery percentages on him. Okay. So, um, crit rate sucks, but he's not there to crit people, so I don't care. He's got a 60% resist, which fails far more often than you would expect. Um, he's got a critical resist of 19%. All of his trinkets are going to be probably four stars at plus 15. Yep. All right, so that, he's my lead. So after my lead, I've got my... Now, this isn't interesting. I have two C stars. I have a C star on the team. The C star on the team is the one with the higher defense, who's using a crit rate gem set instead of the defense gem set, um, but has a 91% crit chance. Uh, I'm just I'm actually flipping and comparing them right myself right now. So slightly lower base attack. Crit damage is 202% on the defense gem set and 140% on the crit rate gem set. You know, I probably will switch and start using the other C-Star. It doesn't really matter which C-Star I use because both of them have the same super debuff, or, uh, which is the full buff break. So I actually am going to switch over to the other C-Star because she's got the higher crit chance, right? Um, slightly lower, as you can see, slightly lower attack base and slightly lower defense, but a massive increase to the crit damage and over 100% chance on the crit damage. 25% um, resist, 25% resist. These are, I'm looking at crit resists. Base level resist. The one thing is, though, this C star actually will resist stuff because she does have 50% versus the 18% over here. So there is a difference in um, basic level resistance. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm going to try some runs with the lower resistance chance on her and see the higher damage. Uh, she also has an extra 10,000 something hit points. Both of them are going to be running, uh, of course, maxed out plus four trinkets. I oh, she's actually got a high, a higher trinket at 15. And C star numero uno. That's a plus four. That's a plus four. And that's a, I say plus four, it's four stars. Um, let me actually. What me? Anyway, so that's the C star. Um, now, my third unit on this team is my light Persephone. She is a variant now, because I actually had a variant Persephone, so I made her a variant unit. She also has a full defense break, or full buff break. And... She's got really good defense, which is her goal. Her goal is that the only light unit on the team to suck up all the dark unit attacks. 
Um, she's got a good crit resist protection. She's got really good resistance at 83%. Also fails far more often than you would expect it to. She's got good hit points. Um, I do have her on the Sansa outfit because I never got a full Persephone trinket set, which is sad. I spent tens of thousands of Astro Gems trying and then just said, screw it, gave up. Um, her enhancements are not bad. Um, actually, speaking of, let's see if I can get a better defense percent on that. Uh, I'll drop one more, unless it gets worse than a 10. Nope, it was better, so now it's even better slightly on the defense. Um, so she's she's my, my uber tanky light minion. And then the last one rounding out the team is a water primo miho. I don't need to go, because it's by element. So let me scroll back up to the waters. Water, Primo, Miho. So he actually has 72% resistance. She's on a resistance set, which is fine. Um, but she's got a really good crit rate, 92%. She's got a, for a water resi or a resistance set, she's got a good crit damage. Um, 91% bonus there, so 140% damage. Good attack, decent hit points. Recovery is a bit high, but that's just the substats on some of these gems. Um, I am mainly a freemium player, which means I do a tiny bit of premium stuff, but very little. So those substat gem coin thingies, I don't get very much of. Um, considering she's only Evo 2, she's doing pretty good. Um, I do have her with four uh, enhancements on her, so she's doing quite fine with that. Um, I'm holding off on doing that last one for now because I'll probably need like two or three thousand to make sure I don't get recovery substat on it because I don't want recovery substat. All right, so that's the PvP team. So let's go do PvP and then I can go do my reading for my classes while this runs. So I'm going to go here, here. Oh, my cat came to visit. So, really sad. My, my cat, I found out on Monday, has lung cancer. Um, there's really nothing that I can do about it other than do my best to make her comfortable. So, I did actually submit to the Monster Super League. They're doing their costume contest again. So, I submitted a request for her to be included as part of the costume. Um... Anyway, I'm hopeful that, that they listen. My picture sucks because my art sucks, but I want her to be with pre with, with Miho, Miho fishing, and she's waiting for Miho to catch a fish. And the alt would be the fish um, gets dragged through the enemy team. Oh, uh, you know, I didn't, I need to actually, I'm gonna take control of this because I forgot to switch the um, sea star out. But we drag the fish through the enemy team and that would uh, do a bunch of damage and then would reel the fish in and the cat would grab the fish or something. I, if they can, I, I, and I gave them a picture of what my cat looks like, so, you know, I can hope. Um, all right, so this is actually what this team's supposed to be doing. No shocks landed, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and recast the shield now because if I get my SP stolen, I don't get to do the shield, and I'd rather have the full shield running. And she gets to throw hers. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and kill off the Persephone, or at least try to, and then no more healing for them. So that works. Alright, so now we're going to retoss the shield, and we're going to go ahead and have people make their attacks. Full buff breaker, and their team just melted away. Okay, so I did, like I said, I wanted to change the um, C star out. So let me grab the other C star. I'm going to give some runs with her and see how that plays out. Ooh, I should sort that by dark so that. Make sure I grab the right one. Oh, you know what? I am running the second Sea Star anyway right now. This should be the one with the... Um, I need 
check. So six percent resist. Yeah, this is this is the one I wanted to be running with anyway. All right, so I'm gonna let that run. turn just sucked. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and give up. I'll redo this fight right now. If I see the fight on the first wave get splattered, if I focus fire the wild thing, that's where the damage came from that chewed through my Persephone. Sort of like that. some good targeted damage against the Persephone, but she's built to be able to take it, so. Now I'll let it run auto battle.
Oh, hi Recibo. Why use a Evo 2 Water Miho? Um, she actually does good damage. She generally doesn't get targeted by the opponents to start with. And she gets, between her and the Persephone, I get 35% SP boost on the first turn. Not counting uh, SP orbs. So you just saw the SP boost triggering right there from that as a result. So let's see what happens on this turn with this team. So between the two of them, they hit hard. She's Oh, she didn't have enough to get her ult off, which is bad for them because I just killed their damage dealers. This is me letting it run on auto and not doing anything. So their healer is now dead, and so there's only two of them left. Yeah, so you see what happens when you have 35% SP. Um, these are against high tier defense type teams. The puncture helps chew through them.
I actually am going to switch the target on this team. Oh, I might have switched it too late. Hmm. Probably did. Oh, well, maybe not. I just get the shield off. I did switch it too late. Alright, I think that might have been the full set of runs anyway. Six losses, damn. Oh, that's a lot of makeup fights then. Alright, so what is this? This is a defensor team. So... I have answers to defensor teams. One down. didn't quite kill her, did you? Which is probably just going to be bad for you guys. As stated, she usually is pretty tanky. Um, can I get rid of her with that attack? Yes, I can. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you take her as well. I'm not landing crits. She's got massive crit resistance because I've got good crit chance on my wood acer. Ow. I mean, come on, it's like this guy doesn't like me or something. What's going on with this craziness? Oh, no more heals for you. <laughs> Sorry, as I laugh at, at her. <laughs> She's trying. She's trying. It's not going to matter, but she was trying. Alright, next battle. Is it going to start it right up? Probably. I'm assuming any of these teams that beat me were defensive teams anyway. So... Uh, she's 50% SP annoying, but doesn't matter. The stun is annoying, so probably DP up. Probably strong defensive, which is fine, because I can chew through strong defensive. Two turn, yeah. See, I knew there was going to be a two turn stun. Honestly, if I end up getting silenced on anybody but my shielder, I don't care. The stuns are annoying. Now I land the crit. At this point, I just need to be spreading some damage out. Consider that some of the spread. Um, she does not have the defense shield running, so she's who will target. Especially because that's another... Wow, that was annoying. She's another defense breaker, but if I have a shield running, a defense breaker doesn't matter. Unless they have a full break and break it. Wow, she's actually got good crit resists because I'm not landing crits. Ow, come on. Don't give me this nonsense. There go the crits. Oh, 
There goes the last of my shields. Weakened, not weakened anymore. I'm not sure I'm going to pull this off. I might have to force a draw out of this, especially with. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and force the draw. I don't want another loss marked against me. Um, do I want to switch out for another blight unit? Yeah, I think I will. I've got. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the Primo Mijo in. Damage is still going to be coming from the uh, the Sea Star, but this will give me ESP generation, and it'll give me a chance of getting immunity. Oh, there we go! Didn't get stunned. Immunity up. Thank you guys. Can't be silenced now, so that's useful. Just almost killed her. Almost, unfortunately for you guys. Oh, and I landed. <laughs> I landed the shock all around on them. So bad day for them. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on Persephone, who has all those hit points. and kill you off. <laughs> because I have the immunity, they can't land any of their stuns or debuffs on me, which is quite, quite useful for me. Not so much for them. Where? We'll just let this auto the rest of this fight. Might be a little bit to wear her down. the win. Alright, let's see what this next one was prior to committing the light Primo Mijo. Uh, also a light Primo Mijo team with a light gene. Um, that's a tough question, but the immunity Well, well, all right. We're gonna try it. This could be, this could be a fail. Um, we shall see. Wow, I did land a good hammer on him though, and I'll get my immunity off, so that shock won't matter. Light Persephone. They 
have not actually gotten their immunity off yet. Uh, they're going to, though, so... Oh, they have a crap ton of hit points. Honestly, right now she's more useful for her SP boost than she is for um, using her ult while they have that running. But she doesn't have it running right now. Since I have full buff breaks and they don't, we will go with throwing damages at the moment. Should have gone after the gene. Oops. I don't believe they're running a buff breaker. I am for two guys, so. Nobody on their team right now has a debuff, so I'm okay and I got shields running on her, so the SP boosts were more important at the moment so that I can get my shield brought back up. Shields. Super alt for massive amounts of damage now. Thank you very much for playing. Sorry, Primo Mijo, I do actually feel sort of sad about that. Okay, so that was that one. here. Resistance downs. Resistance downs don't matter if I have my immunity running. Having immunity running against this team would be important. Resistance downs. Who on this team is. Alright, I think the healer is going to be the one that's going to be annoying, so we're just going to focus her and stop healing from happening eventually by killing her. Someone's got a stun gem set though on their team. Phone off. I don't need that on. Okay, well, as the moment I'm wearing, I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm running an immunity. Oh, I actually broke a couple of their, oh, I broke more of them. or until they actually hit me up for some damage and I've got the immunity run. Oh, there's the... They do have a debuffer. She popped my shield.
Alright, we're going to get rid of the healer. No more heals of that type for you. through enough to, yep, I was able to punch through enough there. Alright, just let that run on auto for the rest. for doing so your resist downer she's an immunity siphoner could probably still beat it we'll see Heels from that team are real, though. I swear I'm trying to kill this guy on the left side off. It may not look like it, but I swear I'm trying to. I've managed to get close several times, but he keeps getting heals. The heals on their team are real. Real pain in my ass is what they are. <laughs> and I'm not landing the crits I need to be landing. Finally killed that one off. In time to have her show up and tear the crap out of me.
Yeah, I just don't think I'm going to win this fight. So we're going to go ahead and do the honorable thing and accept the draw. Could I win the fight if I strip out the entire team and replace it? I could. Do I really feel like spending the time to do that? Not particularly. Let's go see what this one was. Defense, aggressor team. Um, pretty sure I've shown that I can beat that. Wood, normal, okay. Would I see her? That sucks. Well, didn't quite kill it, but what is here does poo poo damage. All right, let's see what the random is with the Woodis here tied in. False, false flag. Oof, that hurt for you. I guess I have a shield running. This turn might sting. <laughs> He's got an attack up. Oh, he didn't land a crit, so it didn't sting as nearly as badly as it could have. Can I just break it? Yep. Defense aggressor. You got defense. I hit you. You die. You, ma'am, have massive defense. You, ma'am, take massive amounts of damage. Sorry. this team. I'm going to go after the 
this, this team, the next ranked team, and then the, the random, and then I'm gonna wrap, because I got stuff I gotta do. Oh, I did not land a crit. I'm about to get sealed, I expect, which is going to be an annoyance. Yeah. Might not win this fight after I got sealed. Although my shield went off. Doesn't seem to have mattered, because I got s a sappy road of death. Alright, well, that answers who I needed to attack first. It was the sealer. Because effectively I've got two turns to kill her. Wow, but if I can't land my attack for crits, which is what's supposed to be happening there. What health do you have left, sir? None. How are you attacking me? I don't know. Okay, then. As long as we're clear on me, we don't know how we're attacking you with no health. Okay, that's annoying. Well, try once more with this team, then I'm gonna go rebuild and beat it, because I'm not I'm not gonna waste time if I can't oh my god. Well she can't heal, but Oh, I finally got a shield ready. On turn one or turn two. That's good, because I'm not getting crap for damage on my alts. Or my normal attacks wasn't an alt, sorry. Can you just kill her? Nope. Um, I know who's coming after that. I don't want her coming, so I'm going to hit you instead. Oh, all right, well, she showed up anyway. But it doesn't matter at this point because my guys were able to attack back this time. There's one more, and then the random. Oh my god. Really? Okay, well, the answer to that is yes, really. This is the Miho Brigade that I have discovered. Someone. Oh my god, really? Every color Miho. Well, you know what? Honestly, at this point, I'm just honored to have met all of them. Didn't expect to meet all of them, but I'm honored to have made their acquaintance. Uh, so we'll hit you since you look like you've taken the most damage out of the ones there. Okay, that figures. Wow. 
that one's running a stun set. What is the fire's ult? Well, doesn't matter if it doesn't land. She's running a heal set, I think. So a stun set, a heal set. Wow. Well, I'm honored to have met these guys on this fight. That's, that's what I can say about this. Someone had a hell of a lot more Astro Gems than I did for doing the pulls. Um, the thing is, I'm not even sure if they made that as a joke team or not. It was not a bad team. Who the hell was that? That was a level 70 person who is actually ranked fairly high at the moment. Yeah, the goal was not to let her get her ult off. The goal there was successful. Okay, and two down. I'm fully shielded. She actually, the dark sunshine actually looks cool in the wedding dress outfit. Um, well, I guess that's who I was going after. Oh, all right. Well, didn't expect she was that squishy, but she was. Oh, no healing for the Odin. Odin, daughter, you are in a world of hurt since you cannot get healed. And that is like your main job. Oh, my Persephone might live through this combat. <laughs> because while the Odin daughter couldn't get hurt, or couldn't heal, I could. And he's not going to pop my shield either. He actually, I think, got some health back. Whatever. Dark Sea Star says, You hurt my friend, and now you must die. And, and then died. Alright, anyway. Hope people enjoyed checking that out. I gotta wrap up for now, so I will catch you guys on the flip side.